feel like. All right, this is our right because it has a luminoid cavity right here for the humerus. This is your acromion. Good job. This is your glucoid process. <laughs> This is your spine on the back of the scapula, posterior. Now, right here along the side underneath the glenoid cavity is the lateral border. That makes sense now. Which is the axillary. And then on this side is the medial border, which is your vertebral border that faces the vertebrae. Now, we also have absolutely nothing else. That's it. Okay, your spine. Uh, scapula. So this is your head. Okay, then you have your greater. Tubercle of the humerus, your lesser tubercle of the humerus. You also have your trochlea, which is down here. It's this little sharp edge. It's going to trochlea. Trochlea. And then you have your deltoid tuberosity. It's the side of the humerus. And then we have the lateral epicondyl, which will be the yep, right here. This is your capitula, and this is your lateral epicondyl right beside it. Okay. And then we have your medial epicondyl on the other side right here. And then we also have the old cranian fossa, which is on the back posterior. The cranian fossa right here, this dip. Nice indention. And then the radial fossa, come back to the front, is right beside the coronoid fossa, the radial fossa, right here. And then I said the capitulum and the coronoid fossa, once again, right here. Surgical neck goes around right below that head. It's the ulna because it has the U shape and the notch here, and that notch is the trochlear notch, also known as the semilunar notch. This is your old cranian process on the top here. You also have your um, coronoid process up here at the top, but it's the little part. So you have your old cranian process and your trochlea semilunar notch and your coracoid process right here. Now your head of the ulna is at the bottom. It's right here. This is your styloid process of the ulna, the little part that sticks out, styloid. And that, my dear, is your ulna. Okay, this is your radius. Okay, we have a little circle that looks like your math radius, so don't forget radius. Also, this is the head. Right underneath the head, you always got your neck. So right around is your radius neck. We have radial tuberosity, this little piece right here, this little bugger that sticks out. And then we also have the styloid process all the way down here where your wrist is going to be. That little point at the very end. The pointiest end is your styloid process. And your clavicle. <laughs> this is your carpals. Presbyopia is bad stuff. Your metacarpals are next. And then you have your phalanges. This is your clavicle. You'll know the difference of your clavicle because the top part of it is flat. So to be able to tell the difference between your right and your left. And then on the bottom, it's kind of curvy because our ribs are kind of curvy. So we want to be able to match it to our ribs. So this is your right because it's flat and it can fit in. Just like in the Just like Alan here. Hello, this is your foot. Put your heels on to go out tonight, girls. But these are your tarsals, your metatarsals here, here, and then your phalanges. Yay! And then this is your patella, also known as a sesamoid bone. It's on your kneecap. This is your coxal bone. Okay, so this is the acetabulum, is where that femur head goes. You're going to have your obturator foreman, obturator. and then you're going to have your pubic symphysis on the bottom here. It's rough, so you got to have sympathy for that pubic area, but pubic symphysis. Okay. Then your ischial tuberosity, it kind of comes out here when you're sitting down, so don't sit on that ischial tuberosity. Okay. Then we're going to have the ischial spine. It sticks out. If you fall on that, that's going to hurt. That spine right there, that ischial spine. All right, so no, the greater sciatic yeah, notch is right is above so. that spine. Greater sciatic yeah, notch. And then the last thing is the sacroiliac joint. And that's going to be right here. Yeah, but 
Okay. This is your femur. Now, I'm going to tell you a couple things about it. You've got your head and your neck. Your neck right underneath the head. Now, this right here looks like a cavity. It's called your um, fovea capitis. Okay? It's right in there. Mm -hmm. All right? This is your greater trochanter. Your lesser trochanter trochanter and your lesser trochanter and then you have your inter how do you say this one inter intercrochanteric crest the inter trochantic crest it's the line you feel a ridge between the greater and lesser trochanter it's in between you there. It? You feel it? You feel it? Yes, sir. I did. I'm okay. touching it. It's important. Okay. <laughs> now, your lateral condyle and your medial condyle, you know, because the medial is to the inside of the body. This is your lateral to the outside. Mm -hmm. Now you have your epicondyle, your lateral epicondyle, your lateral medial condyle. Epicondyle, medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle. Sorry about all that. <clears throat> your Linnae aspera here, and then you also have your intercondylar notch or fossa. And then you're going to turn it around, posterior, and you're going to have your patellar surface. It's nice and smooth. Then you're going to have that's your femur. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the tibia and the fibula. Did I say that right? The tibia and the fibula. You know little white lies? They're fibs. So just think of the small fib fibula here. All right? <laughs> now. Is there any new moves coming out today? I'll go ahead and tell you. On the fibula, all you need to know is this lateral. Any good movies coming out? Malleolus, lateral malleolus, and it's on the outside. See how it points? There you go. So that's your fibula. Fibula. <clears throat> now your tibia, you're going to have this right here is called the medial malleolus. Medial malleolus. All right. Now that's the inside, so this makes it your left, it's the middle of the body. Now this is your lateral condyle. Your medial condyle, your tibial tuberosity. See how it pokes out? You can literally feel it underneath your patella down there. Okay, tibial tuberosity. And then you have, last but not least, your intercondylar eminence. See this little part right here, how it's kind of flat? Eminence means higher up. Can you take me higher? <laughs> so. Intertime, <laughs> intercondyle eminence.